And here at home, the moon covered about 90% of the sun. News on 6's Amy Slanchik is live on the story in Jenks, where students had several ways to study the sky. Amy? Craig, high school science students really had the advantage here today. They got to go up on the roof to see the eclipse. Eager to use their eclipse glasses for the historic day, Adam Peterson's physical science students started class indoors. And so there's only twice a year that an eclipse can occur. After a quick lesson on eclipses. Or if the moon happened to be on the back side, it's going to be lined up so we could have a lunar eclipse. It's time to go up to the roof. Just step up and just look for a couple seconds. Students saw the solar eclipse through a telescope with a special solar lens. It's kind of like looking at an orange smiley face in the sky. It kind of looks like the moon does in the sky, but it's the sun. Something the science teachers are showing their students is this colander, which you can see has round holes in it. But during the eclipse, it looks like a bunch of crescents. The crescent is showing the dark part is the moon and then the light part is the sun. And so when you're seeing that crescent through there, you're seeing the moon covering up the sun. Students took in the view with their glasses, too. Sort of like a very big croissant. But a glance through the telescope is out of this world. I definitely will get another little before I head back to class because, you know, I mean, I could see it again for years. And when they head back to class, Peterson says his students won't be done with the eclipse. They'll be studying data collected on the roof for weeks to come. And the district says they didn't use the planetarium here on campus because the director went, went to St. Joseph, Missouri for the eclipse. Live on the scene on the story in Jinx, Amy Slanchik, News on 